but from that moment on, I knew the full horror of this place. Immobilized within these statues are living human beings. Living? It was that day, my love, that my heart broke. Okay, I never knew I could climb ledges like this. Can I... Yeah, I see you. Can I make that jump? Oh, okay. How far down does this go? I can gild the vines now to climb them. these arrows. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. For the sake of science, what happens if I shoot somebody who's already gilded? Oh. That was a weird effect. So nothing happens if I shoot them again. Wait, is this leading into the palace? It's a locked door. It is. Can I? I can't unbar these doors. Arrows, I'm gonna need those. But clearly, barricading the doors did not keep them safe. Oh no. Navia? A peeled statue. Is that what these things are? Oh, that's horrific. Nevia? Oh, there's another one. Oh, get back. I'm trying. Back. Oh, oh thank goodness. Look, I don't want to be cruel and kick you, but you try to kill me. Okay, it takes two arrows to re-guild. Once they've been gilded before. So, does it not last forever then, the gilding? Excuse me. Take these. Some coins. There's nothing else in here for me, right? That shrine didn't do any good either. I don't see any more. You're not supposed to be here. What about that? Oh! Sugar! Thank you! Poison my head! Navia? Is she living in harmony with these things? Down there. I'll follow you in a moment. I know, Whisper. I heard you the first time. I'm just... Checking all my bases. 
No, I heard you. Oh, a coin pouch. Can I take the hammer? That actually might be useful. Oh. Why are all of these being undone? Is she trying to find a way to weaken? The gilding? Oh! Didn't even see them. Can I climb this? I can. More algae? No! Back! Back! Ah, okay. Oh. Back. And you. What's gilding these going to do for me? They'll just make them easier to stand on? Yeah, okay. Good thing there's so many arrows around. Will this take me back up into the palace? Are you... Immune. Please don't be immune. Back. You there. No, I don't want to hit your hand. I want to shoot past you. Back. Go on. into luck with each other. What have you got? Arrows and money. Then, this is just another way up. Huh. Ah, here. Okay, that's just an alternate way up. Arrows. What am I gonna myself into now? No. Wait, what if I... So I turned that pot... So even if it's not human, I can gild it. Like, and not a living plant life. I only partially gilded it. Hello. I think we're through the gate. Nope. I'm trying to hit the water. There we are. Be at peace. Buzz. Oh. So if I hit something and while it's gilding it falls onto something else, will that then gild the thing it touches? Like that gilding of ours falling into the water will gild the water. I suppose that's how the algae is working. It's hitting the algae and then gilding the rest. It's Nevia. I thought we could have a nice chat, but clearly she doesn't want that. I need to get up there to those vines. Oh no, that's not blood, is. Key to the palace doors. Oh no. She has been. Like trying to scrape the gold off these people. My beloved Galatea. After 
after I learned the terrible truth about the golden statues, I wandered the city as if in a nightmare. What must life be like for these poor souls, entombed in gold, but kept alive somehow? Trapped in their own personal Tartarus, consigned to eternal torment, too horrific for any sane mind to comprehend. I tried to offer them what small mercies I could. I began to talk to them, to keep them company. I'd imagine backstories for them, give them names, and tell them of the world, of the histories and stories I'd learned as a child. As the others became more concerned by my charity, I sought solitude from them, preferring the company of my tormented charges. Discovering a way into the abandoned palace, I began to spend my days walking its halls and sharing with its occupants ancient tales, my mind turning to those of Apollo and Daphne, Perseus and Medusa, and Pygmalion and Galatea. The dreams the sculptor who fell in love with a beautiful statue, and who, praying to Aphrodite for aid, discovered that his beloved Galatea had come to life. It was then that I heard you whisper to me, Galatea. Forgive me. I know that is not your real name, just one I have borrowed from a story. Uh-oh. But when I turned to look at you, I saw the most exquisitely beautiful woman I have ever known. Your face forever frozen in a look oh. of haunting sadness. From your golden true name to me. So I gathered tools for the long and difficult task ahead, barred the doors to this place, and set to work. So she's been torturing these people by trying to strip the gold and their flesh from them. Poor people. Through this door? No. I'll never you or I you. I'm not gonna have to put it down, am I? I can't get through there. It's not this way. Ah, I'm being blind. And this is the vines. God, and she's in love with a statue. Like with a backstory she created herself and a name she's given to them herself. Climb around. Okay, just careful. Take it slow. Take it slow. There we go. Okay, we're around the blockaded doors. Safe from those. Or Greece is like, what if we lift the curse? What's gonna happen to them now? It might just Bleed to death immediately. Hey. I kind of want to put them out there suffering anyway. Sugar. Help us. I'm trying to help you. That one's crumpled to the floor. Okay, it's not still conscious. Climb! Ah, I could have used this jar. Perhaps. I'll turn them now. And I 
go. Maybe yeah. I think calling out her name might not be a good idea anymore. I wonder what happened to that first statue she fell in love with. Fish sauce. Gets everywhere, that stuff. I have a terrible feeling. Hello? Can you tell me what's around the corner? Yeah. Sugar. Back. Oh. Ow. Back. Back. I'm trying. You need a backup, though. Another. Honestly, this must be hell for them. I was like that. Okay, I think we're good. The journal. My beloved Galatea. My attempts at freeing these souls from their golden prisons have not been going to plan. Clearly. My first charge was a Greek woman who I called Iodami after the Athenian turned to stone by Medusa. Drilling through the gold that encased her, I was vindicated by the discovery that beneath half an inch of gold, which is so rigid it must be some kind of alloy, was living flesh. Unfortunately, this golden alloy seems to have fused with her skin. Ah! And appeared to cause her great pain. At first, I braced myself, expecting that inflicting such pain would break the golden rule. And yet, somehow, it did not. It seems whichever god is responsible for imprisoning these poor souls does not care about their suffering at all. They are forsaken. Undeterred, I pressed on, working late into the night. Attempting to remove the golden layer that encased her as delicately as I could. Causing her as much Eventually, pain as you could. I was able to free most of her body. But when I released her from her restraints, her first act was to lunge for my throat. Clawing at me with all her it's strength and those sharp metal tones. <sighs> this was my first <laughs> Whatever possessed Iodami to attack... She was clearly not a suitable subject for my experiment, and I was forced to lock her inside an isolated wing of the palace and bar the door. As I continued working on others, I could hear her flailing and launching herself at the other side endlessly. Regrettably, my other experiments brought similar results, and after relocating a few times, most of the palace is now too dangerous to work. Why didn't you stop Still, then? As much as my heart aches to know that you're suffering, I cannot risk attempting to ungild you yet. Not until I have perfected a method that will bring you back to me, whole in both mind and body, and ensuring your humanity is preserved. I promise you this. One day we will be together. Even if I have to free every last statue in this place. And they all thought Livia had gone mad. I really hate seeing the sight of blood. Be at peace. Actually, when I draw the bow color fades as it does when the golden rule is broken. Oh no. This 
It's just getting so much worse. It appears to be dead, and its death did not break the golden rule. It must be horrific having to watch this, knowing that any of you could be next. She's turned these people's hellish torment just even worse. Just row after row. Please don't tell me that's you whispering. You. Oh my god. You're whispering to me. It's you through the statues. Are you trying to say behind me? I, I don't understand what you're saying. I thought so. Ah! You must be Navia. Covered in blood. Look very mad. It's a lot of surgical tools. And you must be the wretched snake who broke into my palace and disturbed my experiments. And worst of all, Look at what you made me do to her. This never what? would have happened if you just stayed away. You're going to pay for that. If you attack me, we'll both end up encasing gold. And you think I care about that? I don't care what happens to me, as long as you get what you deserve. Ah. Oh. Good luck with that. I think you can bring me down with your little wooden arrows before I jam this blade into your throat. I'm getting pretty good at kicking. I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to imprison you in gold like the others. What? How? That's impossible. You're trying to intimidate me. Oh, it's very possible. This golden bow is the weapon that encases people in gold. Liar. I can demonstrate. On Galatea if you want me to. It'll put her out of her suffering. Really? I'm not sure I believe you. But if you can undo this mess, I'll I'll give you the key to my old medical chest in the I've shrine of Apollo. Been through I that. Imagine it would help Lucretia ease the suffering of those still in the city. So you don't if care. You're lying to me. I'll break the golden rule and kill you and everyone else in this city. <sighs> Understood. Stand back. Galatia. You did it. You took away her pain. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. I swear I will never harm her again. I swear it. And what do you have to say to all those other poor souls? But these poor souls, what can be done for them? I've tried everything I can. You've tortured them the endlessly. The capable of releasing them properly is whichever god doomed them in the first place. Yeah, no. In any case, <sighs> I must honor our I've already body. been through that chest. That's the key I promised you. It opens a chest in the Shrine of Apollo. I believe there are a few things in there which may be useful to Lucretia. I thought we were going to get along, but I do kind of want to encase you in gold. Give it here. Now, please leave. The door here leads out onto the palace balcony. You should be able to make your way down. Oh there. no, I'm not finished here yet. But apparently I am, despite the hundreds of questions I have for you. Go, and never return. Was this her then? The wit the one whispering to me? Could I break in now that I have the key to the palace? Could I sneak in here before she knows I'm here? Oh. 
Possibly. I feel like right now, other than coming back here and seeing if I can talk to the Whispering Lady before this all comes to pass, is seeing whether or not I can get Galerius. Ulysses, ah, oh, Ulysses, I need to go help him. Okay. Oh! Okay. Can I? No, I can't get over here. And I don't think I want to fall to my death. What a horrific woman. Wait, didn't I send Galerius up here to start? This guy from jumping. I need to explore this place more. No, Octavia! Welcome to life no! Under blah, 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 blah. I'm feeling a, feeling a bell now. That's a bit on the nose. I need to talk to Ulpius. All right, well, get out of the way. To meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. No, Ulpius. And if you ever... ah, Octavia. Ah. This is how it ends. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Ulpius, Don't you do what it. are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. She's what? not very quick on the uptake. No. Octavia, let I'm me so handle this. Ah, I'm, I'm, I need to talk to him. Thank you. I know. You know is this what Centilla would want? How is that possible? I mean, I've never mentioned it to anyone. You'd never believe that it was you who told me it, would you? Well, if you say so. You don't understand... I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want it all to be over. I know. I know you do. Maybe I can help solve your problem. It's too late for that. Yulia and I made a pact. And she's already swallowed Hemlock this morning. If I backed out now, I'd be betraying her. You don't have I to worry about that. Lucretia was able to get some resin in time to save her life. She's going to be fine. Oh. Really? That changes things a little. But Good. we're still in debt bondage to that monster. Unless you happen to have 2,000 denarii to pay off both of our debts. Funnily enough, actually I do. Really? Wait. So, I guess you'd want me to work for you then. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you'd be free. You'd do that for us? A couple of complete strangers. I mean, I'm not planning to stick around here anyway. Of course I'd do it. It seems today we are both blessed. This did not turn out how I thought. Thank you, friend. I never thought people like you existed. Here's your money. I'm just trying to do my best. Thank you. I'll go and pay off our debts immediately. Good. I just wish there was some way I could repay you. But I have nothing but the tunic on my back. I need you to vote for Galerius. Oh, but I've not talked to Galerius about running. Don't worry about it. I'll go and take care of things with Maliolus and tell Yulia the good news. Thanks again, friend. I'll never forget what you did for us. No problem. Do I have to do this all in one shot? Octavia? What you did was extraordinary, and I'll never forget it. I'm thankful that you're here. Can I help you with something? It was no problem. So, you're a Christian. Please, please keep that to yourself. I know you're not from around here, but oh, things are very difficult for us I right can't now. remember how I there figured that out. There was a terrible out. fire in Rome last year, and our emperor decided to make us his scapegoats. There were executions. It was horrible. Well, I'm... Well, I know where the Roman plaque is. Your secret's safe with me. Oh, thank you. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. It's it's all right. Uh, I'm going to be going, I because I know where to find that plaque. Oh, it's in the secret shrine. Shame. Another time, then. Yeah, another time. Take care. I'm not going to insert the plaques yet, because I want to wait until I've got... 
all of them. I've not been over there yet. Or is that simply... I need to go this way anyway. I think this is simply going to be leading me back to the Shrine of Proserpina. But this I did not know was here. Some coin. How much coin do I have left? I let... Oh, okay. I did not realise I'd taken that much. I'm going to run over here because I don't want to miss anything by taking the zip line. Is it too late to get Galerius to run in the election today? Or this time round? Careful. Um... Are you back here, Galerius, or are you down at the farm? Oh, I actually never looked. Let's see if I can pick that flower. Sod it. Jump! Oh! oh! Okay. I thought I misjudged that horribly for a moment. Or do I have to drop... from a... Ah! Up I get... Take all those. Oh, it's soda gold. Huh. No. Okay. I just want to climb. Please. There we are. Jump. Uh, trying. Trying to try. It's in here somewhere. Uh, up. I know you do. I'm trying. It's... Oh, this is a dead end. No? But this could lead somewhere else. I've got about these vines. Can I not... Am I using the wrong... I'm using the wrong bow. There we are. It's just very dark. I couldn't tell it was the wooden one. Ah, this takes me into the... Sh okay, that's convenient. Oh, careful. Roman plaque acquired. Pluto, father of riches. So they're all the gods of death. I can unlock that to leave this way. They've desecrated this to make their own shrine. So it's only the Greek plaque from Julie that I need now. Let's go find Galerius. Uh, no, wait a minute. Decius. Decius the Deceitful. Salve, Julie. How are you doing today? Oh, I found Galerius. Well, oh, well, great effing well. The bluff. I bet it's worth a Oh, uh, hello there, partner. Hello uh, there. I, I'm, I'm glad you're here. I think there might have been some uh, confusion about my little practical joke earlier. Oh, confusion? See, my What's that? to give you a little fright. You know, like two friends joking around at the Saturnalia, and then surprise, mm -hmm. I'd open the door. Yeah. When I opened it, you were gone. Very likely. You're going to pay for what you did. Partner, there's no need for threats. Oh, I think there is. It's not a threat, it's a promise. Yeah, well... I don't have to listen to this. Get lost. I'll make sure you get what's coming to you. Galerius. Because they say I've been bad. I'm not going to let that happen to you, Dooley. I promise. Thank you, Galerius. Ah, oh, wait. Thank I could have. Now I have more work to do. You again soon. So, actually, if I hadn't been so threatening, I could have just made him vote for Galerius. That would have been another vote. Galerius. Salve again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and it worked. Brilliant. How Fantastic. How is it possible that you've just arrived here and you already know everyone and exactly what's about to happen to them? 
Well, I'm living the same day over and over again. Less Groundhog Day, this. Uh, you're toying with me, right? No. Wait, you're not kidding, are you? That's the only way you could have known. You're a bit like... Oh, what was his name? Sisyphus. Yeah, that's the one. Old King Sisyphus. Sisyphus? How so? That was one of the people who escaped from the underworld, wasn't it? He used his wit and cunning. Sisyphus was a Greek king a long time ago. For daring to think he could outsmart the gods, he was given a terrible punishment. He was forced to push a great boulder up to the top of a hill. Only, just as it reached the top, it would roll all the way back down to the bottom, forcing him to start over and over and over again for all eternity. Ah. Just like you. Actually, now that I think about it, there are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same futile task over and over. Tantalus was made to grasp at fruit on a tree he could never quite reach. The Pelides had to keep fetching water in a sieve. Oh, and Ixion was strapped to a wheel going round and round forever. Oh. But on the bright side, at least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. Ah. Uh. At least there's that. Anyway, I don't know which god you managed to upset to get yourself into this position, friend, but you seem all right to me. So, I'll tell you what. I'll keep doing whatever I can to help you. And you just focus on finding a way to break the cycle you're in. This guy is a good guy. You're a good man, Galerius. Oh, that's kind of you to say. Now, I'm going to keep your secret. Although, it's not as if I'll remember this next time we talk anyway, right? <laughs> Ah. Oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me you're busy. I know when I'm not wanted. No, May no, no, no. Smile on you, friend. No, you are, you are the Mangalarius, and that's what I want to talk to you about. I want you to be the magistrate. I saw you slide down that rope before. Very impressive. Oh, I know, it's great. And Thank you. Strange too, since that device you use is exactly the same as one I've been oh. working on for weeks. Actually, oh, of course, it's because I already gave it to you in a previous time loop, isn't it? Yes, that's anyway, exactly right. I'm sorry to ask, but go, you is catch there on any quick. You'd be willing to do me a favor. Oh, what do you need? Is this about your little crush? Well, I've been trying to get this rare flower from the rock spire. In the ah, of the lake. yes, it's too steep to climb, so I hung a rope over the lake and made this pulley device. Only I uh, couldn't quite summon the nerve to use it. I see Do you where think this is you going. Could use the device again and try to get that flower for me. Sure, I will. I know why you need it. Oh, thank you. It would help me a lot. There's no rush, just whenever you get a chance. I'll get right on it. All right. See you around. Oh, but not like right right on it. I actually wanted to keep talking to you about running for magistrate. Salve again, my Sisyphean friend. Now, Salve. What's on your mind? Uh, what do you think about the election? Uh, I can't see how I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sentius much, but Maliolus is almost as bad. He is I could do so a much job. worse. Me, a farmer, and I've never given a speech or put on a toga in my life. Yeah, funny you should mention that. Ah, oh, if only I could... Ever thought about running for magistrate yourself? There we go. I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. He's but not. From what I hear, probably Maliolus neither will Maliolus. Stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom, so I'm hoping if he's elected... No, it's going to be a terrible thing. If Melanius runs, he's going to break the golden rule, and he's going to have Sentius killed by like through gladiatorious combat. So there goes Horatius as well. And how could you? Oh, yeah. Wait. Time loop. You've seen it in another time loop, haven't you? Yeah, well, I haven't seen well, it, but... In that case, we need to find a way to make sure Maliolus loses. Better yet, get him to withdraw altogether. If you can do that, and Sentius is the only candidate left, I'll run against him. Deal? Deal. So I need to find a way of outing Maliolus as actually being this... Quintius guy. All right, I'll be All going. Right, friend. Hope you find a way to break that cycle you're in. So do I. It's getting late in the day. I don't think I've got a lot of time. So... Oh, do I just go and murder the guy's wife? I think that might actually be what I have to do. Unless I can sweet talk her. Maybe I'll give her the flower. And just pluck it again in another time. Oh! 
I'm going to break my legs doing this. No, okay. Too quick. What was that? It's a torch. Um, actually, does he have anything else to say? Hey, buddy. Shalom. Shalom. Oh, uh, can we talk about... Centilla? Oh, I completely forgot about Centilla. Uh, can we talk about her? Centilla and I were in love. And then... 22 days ago... She went missing. Missing? Well, why don't you start from the beginning? Alright. One night a few months ago, when I was cleaning Maliolis's villa, I heard a young woman singing. It was the most beautiful thing I had ever heard. I need to go I back and talk to out. Scent here as well. So once everyone else was asleep, I climbed up the inside of the villa and onto the roof, just to see where that sound was coming from. And that's when I saw her, standing in the garden of the Magistrate's villa. I just sat there on the roof, listening to her with my chin on my knees. And for the first time in a long time, I felt hopeful. And then she looked up and saw me and she smiled. I knew at that moment the fates had brought me to her. And from the moment she asked my name with this warmth and curiosity, I knew I'd have done anything for her. And so, for weeks on end, each night I'd climb out of the villa and into her father's garden. We'd hold hands and talk about all the things we'd do once we got out of here. Like having our own vineyard. And then one morning I woke up and everyone was out searching for her. They said she'd vanished in the night. All I could do was keep my head down and try to hide how beside myself I was. I don't think she'd have escaped without telling him if this is all true. But it's starting to sound like... Well, she was a noble. Don't you just love springtime? And you weren't. You were a slave, essentially. I think somebody disapproved of you two being together. Uh, Glarius, we're having a chat here. Is it possible she escaped somehow? All I know is she loved me. And if she had known a way out, she would have told me. She'd never have taken her own life. And there's no way anybody could have killed her under the golden rule. I can't prove it, but I just know she's still alive somehow. Even now, it's as if I can hear her voice in my head, crying out to me. That can only mean one thing. Somebody abducted her. You might be hearing the whisper. I have no idea how or who would want to do something like that to such a sweet, lovely girl. But what else could have happened? Any idea who might have taken her? My guess? Maliolus had something to do with it. He is without doubt the most evil man oh. I have ever Galarious. known. I have no idea where he'd be keeping her. But there is one room in his villa, upstairs, which is always locked. Oh, that's just got his I've wife never seen in the it. inside of it. And I haven't been able to steal a key without breaking the golden rule. But I have a feeling that if you could get in there somehow, it would shed light on a great many things. It would shed light on his true identity, I hope. I've been in there already, actually. There's no sign of Centilla. Really? I was sure he was hiding something in there. I feel like I've looked everywhere. At least, everywhere I could get to. There are still two places I've never been able to reach. The palace. First, the palace. Yep, been if in there. If Navia managed to get in, then I suppose Centilla could have too. I'm pretty sure she's not in the palace. Oh, you've looked inside. You see. And what about the, the second place? The other place you could be is somewhere in the cistern network. I remember hearing that Dooley had been poking around in the upper cistern before he was locked up. So you could ask him about it, I suppose. I need to get Galerius out there. Not Galerius, Julie out there. I'll see what I can do. Galerius, please, we're having a conversation. Uh, who are you going to vote for? Sentius, I suppose. I'd have to be insane to vote for Maliolus after what he did to me. I bet. Fair enough. Right. I'm going to get going. All right, friend. Thanks for the chat. You're welcome. 
I've got to... Ah, that was it. Oh, you know what? I'm going to run to the villa. Because as soon as I like go back in time, I'm going to be right out on the side of that rope. I know you need my help whispering in my head. But yes, I... Because I have the golden bow, that's why. Excuse me. 